Nice. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, Smokey. Oh, we get a ZVP? Do we get a ZVP? Eh? Ooh. ZVP. Burp, 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 burp. De Protos. ZVP. Let's take a look. We're analyzing this for Friendly Soul. This is lost and found. I was saying it before in one of the ZVZ analysis games. This is a pretty good defender's map. You can get into some fairly long games, and at a glance, it looks like it's kind of a medium-sized map, but there are all these obstacles, and the paths are kind of narrow and stuff, so I think being mentally prepared for a four to five base game is pretty good. Doesn't always happen, but compared to some of the other maps, I think this is a pretty, pretty reliably macro map. He's still doing his signature move, which is killing the first probe with his drones. That's always a joy. It's a joy. A lot of Protosses are kind of lazy with their probe micro, and Yasuo knows that, and he punishes them. He punishes them. Okay, going for a third base. The Overlord before the third base is not the most correct of all time, but it's not a huge mistake. Okay, Stargate. Ooh, this makes me proud. He saw the first pylon in an adept, so he went in to see what's up. And it's a Stargate. I think you can just keep it there. This Overlord is dead anyway. They're gonna make a Phoenix eventually. What? Stalker. Just so you know, this is a little... Dokodo, thank you for that two months. I appreciate you. Do you want to know a secret? Do you want to know a secret right now? I'm going to tell you a secret. The secret is... Zerg has a special unit called... Splody Boys. And... A lot of Protosses... Know that... Well... I have the ability to make sentries. I have the ability to make oracles... So, Zergs, they're probably not going to the Splody Boys. But what do I see here from this Overlord's vision? None other than a pylon in the front wall. <sighs> Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. Because the little Splody Boys can blow the fuck out of this pylon, which unpowers both of these buildings, and opens up a path for all the Zergs to rush into the base. So... Isul can say, all right, 150 gas, probably more like 250 or 300 gas, is invested into this Stargate, which is expensive. And 50 gas was invested into this Stalker. And there's a pylon in the wall. This opponent is dead to the Splody Boys. Or we could just drone. It's up to you. But that's, that's one of those things if you're ever feeling kind of a kind of excited with your ladder games. Take a look at that. What is this? This is a this is funny. You can still kill a stalker with Splody Boys. This is a great wall. Look at this lovely wall off. Lovely. It is it is shapes. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so you've got three queens. You've got no queen here. Uh oh. Yeah, you want to have two here, one there. Oh no. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not the end of things. What? Oh, it's a charge attack. Charge with a prism and a Templar Archive. So this is going to be a potato cannon. Okay, so this is a build that is really common. Basically the idea is they delay their third by a little bit. They, they still macro behind it sometimes. But a normal third base timing for like GM players, which stuff can be later for lower leagues, is five minutes. This is around six minutes. And I would say this opponent hasn't been playing too bad. Like the wall is kind of questionable, but aside from that they seem to know what they're doing. So this 
base timing, I think you can infer a little bit that they're going to be a little bit aggressive with you. So you're making roaches. That's cool. That's cool. If you see it there, you can start attacking this. You don't need to be scared. You can attack the Archons as they're morphing. Soften them up a bit. It's not too bad. And then if you want to make it easier on yourself, put a spine here. Not a spore. No. Not a spore. Because they'll just drop the Archons here and shoot this. But if it's a spine, then the Archons have a pretty big obstacle that they have to work around. Ooh, you're going Spire. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I was going to say the worker count is low and then you just made a bajillion. That's good. Nine queens. Nine queens, though. Okay. Immortal, Archon. Triple Spine. Wow. How did they get to the gas? They have to go through here. Oh. Oh. Look at these injected bases. Wow. One, two, three, four. Four injected bases and a fifth hatchery. Wow. Wow, the production. Is he going to make a round of mutant corruptors? Ooh. It's a broodlord rush. Ooh. Sick. Oh, nice. Fifth base. Damn, this is a smart way to play this map. This is a smart way. Just gotta... It's gonna be kind of dicey, I think, hanging on against this push. Oh, fall back! What the... Wow! Run! Get the Corruptors back! Get the Corruptors back! The Greater Spire's not done! Why are they here? Go to the main! No. Oh, this is way too many corruptors. Oh. Hachiwawa. Do you want to know a secret? Do you want to know a secret? If you're going to go for a Broodlord rush like this, you don't have all the money in the world, right? Because all that tech is expensive. Make seven. If you want a, a quick tip that'll make the defense of this way better, Make seven, because what is the problem that we have here? Uh-oh. We have 13 Corruptors, which do absolutely nothing for us. You could maybe Caustic Spray, but they can make Archons or Stalker, so it's not that good. But yeah, I think, I think making seven, so a very specific amount of Corruptors, so that you can make all of them into Broods. Because you have good production, so if you find out that it's carriers, then you can make 25 corruptors and just go one-shot them and force Protoss into making voids or something. But yeah, we would not have lost that base. We would not have lost that, lost that base in all of our ground army if we just made seven. And they don't even need to be with your army. You can just put them here until they're broods. Okay. Isn't that a lovely skin? The Aquatic Broodlord. Wow. Iridescent. Magnificent. I think you just win. More Corruptors. I guess they're making Void Rays. Wow. Oh, it's a mothership. Run! You can't kill that. Run! Did you get Adrenal Glands? <gasps> oh, Adrenal Glands is so good. Get it. Okay. Okay. What upgrades do you have? 
You're researching plus two melee, you have plus one armor. You could just make mutas and kill this. Wait, are you about to lose this game? Oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh no! Broodlords are here! The Broodlords are here! But it's a mothership! Oh my god. Oh wait, you killed it! But you have no Hydroden. And you have no Infestors. And your queens all died. Oh. God damn it. We're dead now. Shh. So, what was the key mistake here? The key mistake, I think, was losing the ground army and having brood lords and then rushing into a push without a solution for void rays. Because you had corruptors, so you had a solution for carriers. But once the void rays came out and you saw the mothership, I would just fall back and spam queens and use your base advantage, right? Because you changed the game. The game was like a five base versus four base scenario, and they killed one of your bases. And then it became a four base versus four base. And then you killed two bases. So it became five base versus two base. In that situation, you can just sit back and you're just getting rich. You're getting rich. You can make ultras, you can make infestors, you can make plus three air armor, you can make queens, you can spread creep, and the opponent is on the clock to stop you. Because you're gonna have all the tools that you need to solve all your problems. So that's a situation where I know a lot of times you feel like, ah, oh, I need to kill the protons before they get sky toss. They're broke as a joke. They've got two bases of probes left. Sure, they have a mothership, so you can spam spores. So that's one of the situations where you got two objectives and there was no reason to continue to commit. Because void rays are very easily counterable if you have infest her tech and you have plenty of gas income, which you did, but all the brood lords and all the corruptors died. And all the king's horses and all the king's men could not put Humpty Dumpty back together again. <laughs> Damn. So yeah, now we're just getting zapped by blue lasers. Oh, that's a nice base of spores there. I think you need more voids, mate. Okay. You getting mad, I'm getting rich. I'm on the path to mastery, bitch.